The Italian Dream. Marvin Vittori, what's going on, man? How you feeling? I'm good, man. Two weeks out, feeling ready. And again, I'm ready to go. All right, man. Before we get into all of that, I wanted to talk about last weekend. UFC Norfolk. <laughs> the main event was for the vacant flyweight title. Mm -hmm. Davidson Figueredo, he missed weight. He <laughs> won the fight, but he didn't win the title. You know, like when you're in the middle of a training camp and you have some injuries that mm -hmm. maybe might limit you from cutting weight would you, would it be better to pull out the fight or would you continue on and try to make the weight no man if if, if weight is the only like because i mean it's not nobody's gonna come up and kind of tell you like you're not gonna make weight that far ahead and if everything is fine come on man you can't like i get it it's unprofessional not to make weight but you can't just like also in your mind you can make weight it's not that you can like in your mind you can and it's, if you don't have no injuries and it's a title fight you're really gonna give up the whole show and the whole main event for like for risking not to make weight like you're gonna mm -hmm. try till the end unfortunately you, there's nobody coming up and like reading the future and telling you you're not gonna make weight 100 percent. and even then like you're not gonna believe the guy you're just gonna so obviously it's unprofessional but um you know they're, they're like I get it. I I'm, I I never missed weight and I never missed weight and I'm and I'm professional. I never pulled out of any fight and and this and that. But at the end of the day, I, I, when because they were also saying like, oh, he's he's not feeling sorry. He's not being apologetic and all that. But you're going against the guy for the title, basically, or whatever it is. Like it's a very important fight, and you fucked it up. You didn't make weight. But in the moment you didn't make weight. You don't want to give him a, a mental edge, and you want to feel. You don't want to feel all sorry and go into a fight like all, all mentally fucked up and like weak and like and like and like all that. Because at the end of the day, you fucked up the way, but the day after you got to really fight, and and, and no matter what, you got to you got to win. So um, I mean, the 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 attitude after you can't you can't really. I mean, I, I also I don't know the whole story. I, I I don't even know if he after really apologized or not. He definitely fucked up. I'm not justifying him, but um, the moment you fucked up, you still have to fight and you still have to win. So you can't be like, uh, you know, all down and like, oh, I missed weight and like, uh, and, and and let that uh, um, influence your fight. So he's definitely uh, he's, I mean, he and he paid for it. Not that he didn't like. It's definitely a, a, a mistake on his end, and uh, but uh, man, he put on a great performance after. So. Yeah, definitely, definitely, he did. Uh, so, do you would you if you're the USC, would you put the rematch back together because he did miss weight and he did not win the title, but he still won the fight? Uh, if it makes sense, I don't know. I mean, I, I would I would like to see Cejudo against him, honestly, more than, <laughs> more, more than um, uh, Benavides, but. Mm. I mean, yeah, it's it's not bad. Like, a, you know, a lot of times rematches plays out very different, differently. So if it makes sense for the UFC to make it in terms of, like, money, you know, then, yeah. You know, you represent Italy. You know, you're Italian to the fullest. Right now, you know, there's a serious situation going on with the coronavirus in oh, yeah. in, in your country. You know, what what are your thoughts on that situation and, and what's going on in the, in the country <laughs> right now? Well, the whole thing about it is that... Um, the situation about Italy and that would be and that's kind of crazy because from being all around the world and like every time from outside our own state we we hear a different story. So for a moment we really call ourselves out for being one of the worst country for with the coronavirus and um, we did find a lot of cases. But what people don't know is that we tested more than anybody else in the world. We really started mm -hmm. to test everybody like like uh, do like. Um, how do you call like um, those things like uh, to check if you have it? Well, we, we really did it to anybody. And so cases start popping out. But um, we don't really have that many cases. And, and and what my idea about it is that like it's good to, to take precautions. It is good to take them early too, not to let it spread out. So it's good to be aware of it early on. But at the same time, it's good to stick to reality and... Because sometimes media really re can really tell a different stories sometimes and, and put people into panic, you know, and that's what happened. A lot of it ha that's what happened. And, and I feel like most of more, more than actually a problem for health is actually causing a problem, a big problem for economy. And then 
things like Trump saying don't go to Italy and like things like that. Like, you know, like they can really also Italy is not going through the best moment. We were starting to kind of see like uh, a growth again, a start to, to kind of like uh, um, a restart a little bit. But um, I think this can give can really give a. Uh, hit, hit Italy hard in a sense uh, of, uh, of uh, on the economy. So I mean, it, it is good to take precautions, uh, but we have to stick to, to the facts. Also, you know, like it's not like a, like a, like a situation of pestilence where like <laughs> zombie are gonna. Because that what that's what like hearing some people and some kind of media what it looked like you know like people started freaking out and we all know when people start to freak out what happens it's complete chaos and it, it doesn't bring any good so um, most of all I, it's gonna i hope it doesn't affect me personally too bad in the sense that a lot a lot of people were supposed to come from italy to london to see my fight almost like over 150 and um and I saw them already, some of them changing flights because I think uh, Ryanair and British Airways, I feel like uh, a lot of the flights uh, were 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 empty because people wouldn't go. So they're kind of squeezing flights together and like like depressing some of the flights. So things like this. Um, so I hope they can still fly over. I hope, you know, because anything can really happen. I feel like Italy maybe took precaution really early, but it's not that like, the other country won't be hit by that by, by it so i hope like uh in the next couple of weeks it gets better and it doesn't get worse and and the event the ufc is, is still gonna be all good and and it's gonna be it's gonna be held and all that but i mean you know we gotta stick to facts that's 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 my advice most of the most than all most than everything else it should get better you know it seems like a lot of the countries are taking the precautions and, and kind of limiting the negative news that is spreading out there, which is, like you said, that's what's making people panic and stuff like that is just yeah. non-credible news sources. So um, now let's get into, you know, your, your fight career so far. You know, last your last fight, you had a lot of frustration going into that fight. You know, you're supposed to fight yeah. him, you know, and then he got, he pulled out and then you fought him and he was talking trash to you. And, and, yeah. but you went in there, you performed well, you know, when you go back and rewatch that fight, what, what is your thoughts on the performance you had? Uh, I think the performance was, the performance was, uh, was good. Wasn't my, wasn't, wasn't awesome. I, I, I think I did, uh, some mistakes even though you know like it's good to kind of like uh the way i am it, it don't matter like he didn't have any i didn't give me any occasion to to pull out anything but i'm still it's like i i changed you know like i used to kind of like uh obviously it fights is different you gotta go in and win first but even i feel like in training and sparrings back then i used to really uh focus on like uh oh i have to beat this guy i have to I have to win every round, which is which is is really important. But it's about me, and it's and and I'm really realizing it's about me more and more and more. And so even now, definitely a fight is different because, uh, like I said, first thing is to win. But I still had a lot of things to improve, and that's what I'm looking even in, in the sparring. It's it's really about me. Like I know when I did good, and I know when I when I uh, apply the things I've been working on, and I think. Um, I did good, but I didn't. I didn't do. I didn't excel, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm really looking forward to do that. I think I still improved a lot since my last fight. I tightened everything up, and um, I added a lot of things to my game, and uh, mentally and physically. And uh, I hope Darren is just uh, good enough to let me show that, you know. Um, when I get in there, I'm. I, I, I don't stop. There's no way you're gonna make me slow down or anything i'm a, i'm coming at you for 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 from the first second to the last second so um yeah i mean uh, i did a lot i did a lot of good i controlled the fight all the way i didn't give him any chance i just bit him up beginning to the end like take them defense was on point he couldn't even he didn't even go close to didn't even go close to my legs really and we all knew he was a decent wrestler so yeah, it was good, but uh, I I I, I want to do better, and I'm gonna keep doing better. Um, so after this fight, I'm think uh, I think I'm really gonna showcase my improvement, and I'm gonna send another message. I'm gonna be on a winning streak. Just before that, I fought uh, the current champ, then lost in a 
very close split decision. And uh, Saturday, I'll be there watching the fights. And I know they're fighting for my belt. And um, and nothing. I mean, I'm just after this fight. I'm I'm really gonna ask for for name because I think I deserve it. I think I need to work to, to work my way up, and um, I need to prove that that I'm the best because I think I am the best. So yeah, I mean, I did good, but I I want to do way better, and I want to and I want to prove that. I'm I'm improving every single time. You can stay and like you can study me, you can watch me as much as you want, but every time I'm going to come in better. So it's kind of worthless in a way. Did you expect a name after this last fight? Cuz I think a lot of people did cuz you <sighs> fought some tough guys in the past. So they thought, you know, you're on a two fight win streak. You should get somebody at least, you know, in the 10 to 15 range. Didn't you think that? Yeah, I wanted that, but uh, I wanted that too. It is what it is. I mean, you know, every fight is a new challenge. Every fight is a, is a is an opportunity to to get better. And uh, you know, the ne- ne- nothing is never get, has never been given me for 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 free. You know, like no favors, never. And I don't want them. And it's fine. You know, I I never had any, my life has always been like this. Like I always earn every single bit of it, every single little piece of it, every step I've done it, and I and I and I earn it by myself. So you know, I'm not gonna complain. There is there is other situation where I'm like fuck like yeah exactly like you should have fight somebody else you should have like it's okay I'm I'm not the guy that is gonna let like like you know like um, people not give me what 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 I what is my worth but at the same time I'm in a position where an extra an extra win won't hurt me and it's another fight it's another challenge and it is what it is but um, after this fight I definitely want to name Darren he is on the rise right now. You know, he he started his UFC career on three straight losses and kind of turned his career around and actually became mm-hmm. one of the probably the top 20 fighters in the world right now. So, when you look at him, are you impressed by what he has done? No, not really. I mean, he, he, you know, it's like he started very bad and he did a little bit better. I think his last fight he lost, honestly. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not underestimating him. I'm just I'm just I'm just seeing facts. Uh I'm just seeing facts like um, he started very bad and now he's doing almost all right. <laughs> he's not that, you know, he's, I wouldn't say he's doing great. His last fight, he looked decent. Like, But, you know, one thing I'm looking a lot lately, uh, more than anything, more than physical skills, more than more than a lot of other things is, uh, is fighting IQ, you know, and I think his fighting IQ is not there yet, you know, and um one thing I think is good for him is that he doesn't know. I think he does, he's not the guy that overthink. You know, he's not the he's not the kind of guy. I've been I've been I've been watching him and like <clears throat> I've been watching some of his fights. He doesn't overthink, which is good I think because if he would, like that would really make him trip in his mind on a lot of things. He just go in and fight. Uh, but that I I really think that would that won't be enough. You know, and uh, his fighting IQ is is way below mine. And um, I'll come in prepare, and there won't be much you can do. You know, it's a fight. I, don't get me wrong. I'm training, and that, and that's why one of the reasons why after this fight I want a name because every fight I prepare like it's a title fight, and that's what I said. Like that's what I that's what I want to let them. These guys, what, what I wanna, what I want to let know to these guys is like I don't underestimate nobody. I, I train my ass off like a crazy fucker every time. So I, I must as uh, I must as well like, get a name. You know. So um, yeah, but that's that's what I think about him. He's he has good boxing, he has power, he can take a punch, and he's durable. And that's 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 not that's not little, you know. That he that's 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 good. So I'm I'm definitely gonna be prepared to to go for for the whole for the whole three five. But I want to finish this fight for sure. So. And I think I can definitely do that. You you said earlier that you've made some improvements, you've added some things. You know, what exactly have you worked on in the last couple of months? Well, you know, like uh, everything, really, my everything. <laughs> you know, I I'm, I always work on everything. Like um, my jujitsu got better, my 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 boxing got tighter, I got smarter, I got tougher mentally. I, I you know, like my mind is in the, is in the right place. And uh, and and the more I get closer to my fight, the more I get focused. And and I'm always focused, but more and more, you know, efficiency, all of this. Like you know, I'm I really take it to a scientific level. This like to a scientific level. These things. Um, I really take. I, I really think like fighting is science. You know, it, it is. It's 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 science of war. Like you, 
you're you're going in to beat another man, which he's trying to beat you. It's mm. everything counts, so nothing can be left to the case. And and a lot of people don't think like me, but um, I do. That's that's my way of fighting. I'll, I'll I'll work on everything. If I know that's the right thing to do, it you you can you can bet I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. So um, that's it. So with that that's said, you do you feel like you're gonna go in there and put on a technical performance where you, you you eventually end up getting the finish then? I'm just going to, yeah. I mean, I'm just going to um, overwhelm him. Like, he's, he'll, he'll, be, he'll crumble. He, he'll, he'll, I'm going to make him do mistakes, and I'm going to catch him. Now, this fight, you know what I mean? Like, you're in a <laughs> particular position where it's like you're kind of fighting just for your position. Do you see, like, this a win over Darren Stewart is going to make you propel in a division, or is it kind of you're just... You're just fighting for your position. I think he's still gonna add, you know, like it's still mm -hmm. a win in the UFC. It's still, I'm still, it's still. A, I think he's still one of the good guys outside top 15. So I think he's gonna add, but I'm not, you know, I'm not fighting to be top 15 anyway. I'm fighting to be number one. So if they're gonna rank, I, I, rankings are funny sometimes too. You know that for sure. So um, I'm not really tripping about that too much. So I'll know I'll, I'll be on a three fight win streak. They'll know that the fight before that was a split decision loss. The fight before that was a very weird draw to a guy that now is top ten. So my whole fights were basically against top fifteen almost. So you know, and never you know, always good, always close fights, always like like always like they were tried like I mean I won't go over any fights, but like. They, they try to kind of steal fights on me, you know, a lot of times. Like, they never really come and try to beat me. So, um, the, 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 the raw talent was there from the beginning. I think now we're just polishing up more and more and more and more and more and more and more until, like, it, nobody will do, can do, won't be able to do anything about it. Well, you're still so young, too. You have yeah. a lot of experience, but you're still so young. So, it's like the... Yeah. The future is so bright for yourself, you know what I mean? Because you yeah. have that experience. But you see, like, a lot of these other guys, that, that, a lot of people would they say that, right? And, and I mean, it, it is true. I'm young, but nobody really takes this how I take it. Like people don't understand. Like I give up everything for this sport from from day mm -hmm. one, basically. From day one, I give up everything. From when I'm 17, uh, I just my I give up everything. And I mean, I mean, I started 16, 18. Or, or like uh, late 18, I finished school. And from that time, I just, my life was just MMA. Like mm -hmm. people have family, people have like, I, all I do and think and breathe and, and watch it's, it's MMA. And uh, I moved all over the world just to do this. It's the amount of work I put in, in this thing. It's, it's, it's uncountable. I don't, I really think like I've been around places. I've been, I've, I've been training with a lot of people and I don't see anybody as, as focused as I, as I am. And so it's just, it's just a matter of time. I think it, it is, it is. And so um, I'm young, but I mean, it, it, it's about, it's about how much, how much work you put in, you know, more than the age. So, so yeah. This weekend, you said you're going to be there. Kate side I'll be there. for UFC I'll be there. 248. Uh, Adesanya versus Romero. Do you think it was a huge mistake for Adesanya to call out Romero, even though Romero doesn't really deserve a title shot, and mm. and he should have just waited for Paulo Costa? No, I don't think it was. I mean, I don't think it was. I don't think he's making that much less money than to fight Paulo Costa. You know, like I don't think Romero, no matter what, is gonna be like a good fight. You know, like people know that. I don't think so, man. Like Paulo, like Paulo Costa, just he just obviously trying to. Like, uh, like, bring water to his like to to his thing. Like he's like he's trying to do to say good things about him. But I don't, he, I mean, like, Adesanya trying to look like a badass. I know, I I have his number. I know exactly how he is. But he's he's trying to. He, I think he's doing the right thing to to kind of build up his image. You know, like, mm -hmm. but but he's he's being smart too because like I don't think Romero is on his prime anymore. You know, but he. I think he will come out motivated because he knows that he doesn't have that many shots. But I think if there is a time where he can still look very good and have a good chance to beat him, that's now. So and still look like a badass, you know. So um, he's doing that, and 
that's it. And he's making good money. I know that for a fact. So I don't think it's a bad idea. And yeah. Do you expect Israel to win this fight? It's hard to call it. It's really hard to call it because it, it, it really is a lot on how Romero comes out. But uh, one thing, definitely Romero will come up motivated, man. He, he That's his third title shot. I don't know. How it, how how can you call a fight against Romero? It's, it's, it's hard. Like, the ending can really happen in any moment, you know? Like, like uh, Adesanya has, has the composure. He does have the composure to, to go through all five rounds. I, I I wouldn't know honestly. I they both could do it. Uh, I don't know. All right. Well, you know, you continue your path to the title. March twenty first, UFC on ESPN plus twenty nine, London, England. Always good to- talking with you, Marvin. And uh, good luck on the fight, man. Good luck on your rise to the to the top five and to the title fight, man. It's always good chatting. Thank you very much, man. Thank you, my friend. <laughs>